Hey, welcome back to the shop. Now that you have this nice quick change tool holder on your lathe and a digital readout, you want to make full use of it, of course. Not only use it for tool by tool and resetting it every time, but you also want to use it with preset tooling. So you do not have to measure every stupid little feature that you want to turn. There are different ways to do this on uh, DROs. Some have a tool library, some have multiple work offsets. This old Tony recently did uh, a video on an import digital readout and he used the tool library, which is fine. But in my mind, the tool library on these import DROs doesn't work really good. It's, it's really painful to set up and I found a good solution to use multiple work offsets to do multiple tools for diameter. This does not work for um, the for length dimensions for the the C direction on a lathe. So let's look at the DRO that I have and how it works and how you how you run this. I took the protective cover off so I do not get as much glare, but usually I have this over the euro so it doesn't get dirty all over. So the euro is off, lathe is sitting at some position uh, relatively undefined. First step, of course, is to turn on the euro. Does it self-check? Takes a few seconds. And then it's sitting here in, in absolute mode. You could use it that way now, but we will we will handle this like a CNC machine. A CNC machine, you would do a, you would home the machine before you use it, and that's what we're going to do on this thing too. After we home homed it, found the home position on the linear scales, um, the machine knows where it is. So. For that, we hit uh, reference, go one time left or right, and we want to find the origin of our linear scale. Hit enter, find origin, x axis, and now we crank the, the cross slide until we find our, our reference mark. Usually on the smaller linear scales you have one reference mark in the center. So we crank, you heard it beep, that means that it found its reference. We could now do the, sa could do the same for the carriage, but we don't care about the carriage. So we go back by uh, uh, absolute, uh, uh, by hitting reference again. And we go, remember, back in main menu. And SDM, that's our work offsets. That's what we want. We have work offset one, two, three, four, and so on. And each one gets designated to a, a, a tool. SDM1, for example, is my uh, CCMT turning tool for steel. Offset 2 is my CCMT tool for aluminium, and so on. Number 3 is a DCMT for steel uh, chamfer tool, and so on and so on. That's up to you. And the way this works now is we, we, send, we place our tool that we want in the tool post, and we choose our SDM2, as this is number 2, on the DRO, and we turn a diameter. This tool is already calibrated, so it should be quite close. We take a little bit of a skim cut, take a measurement, uh, 54.98, and on the DRO we have 55. So. Let's let's fix this 54.98 and now we're good to go. Of course, 
this varies a little bit with the depth of cut you're taking on on steel for example if you're tarring steel um, you would calibrate the DRO to a known depth of cut with a known speeds and feet if you want to turn very precise diameters but this gets you very very close right away uh, especially for roughing you do not have to measure anything you just walk up to the lathe do your reference walk choose your tool and your hit, hit the ground running I think that's the that's what you say and the nice thing this stays if we turn off the DRO and move the carriage around like we want and the cross slide and we come back to our reference run this will be here again so let, let, let's try this not, not only talking but showing turn off and now if we turn the euro just back on without moving the the, the cross slide or the uh, yeah the cross slide um, of course it would be all correct anyway but now with the euro off we move the cross slide and now we lost all our positions basically. So we turn the euro back on. We go to absolute reference origin enter X <laughs> find our reference position. Has to be somewhere, yes, here. Uh, then we hit reference and SDM. Choose our tool. That's still the same tool as before. Move in and take a new skim cut. So this should be 54.5. 54.5 and the DRO is telling me exactly the same almost that's that's a very good way to use the DRO to to speed up your work and that's also uh, a large portion behind the idea of removing the compound of the of the leaf because if you move if you have your your compound not perfectly in line with the c-axis of the leaf of the carriage and you move it all your diameters are gone because when it's on angle and you move it, you change not only your C orientation, but also your X, uh, your diameter. That's with, with, the, with the compound removed, you do not run in this danger. I had the, I had the solid tool post on my old lathe for about a year or almost two years. And I think I, I didn't mount the compound back on the machine once, <laughs> not once. And it will probably roughly the same on this new machine here. And especially as I have the option to drop the compound back here to do minor taper work. Uh, I think I'm pretty good. You have to get, of course, uh, linear scales that have a reference mark. But in my experience so far, all the Chinese import linear scales which are, by the way, surprisingly accurate. Um, they all have a reference mark either in the center or if it's a very long linear scale on the ends, on either one of the ends. Not sure how that works. Uh, the, the readout itself, uh, they look all the same, no matter if it's a, a DRO or a, a Ditron, Ditron or whatever. I don't say the the importer with the S because I don't want to get in trouble. Um, they all look the same and on my mill I have a Detron and it works exactly the same. The, the, the reference works the same, the, the work offsets work the same. And yes, they have this, this uh, tool library which you enter if you, uh, you hit this and then you hit 10 times the, the dot or the, yeah, here. Then it opens the tool library and that's just uh, feels completely clunky to me. So that's a workflow that works very well, very fast and matches the style I want to work. So 
I hope you enjoyed this quick one. It's, it's a bit special because not everyone has a DRO or this DRO. But maybe there is one or two people out there that find this interesting and helpful. So thank you all for watching and see you next time.